You are listening to or watching the Wooden Spoon Podcast. Now let's start the show. And we're back. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, guys. What's up, welcome, everyone? Welcome. Wow, it's been like What's a week. On? Yeah, it's been a while. We haven't done this. It's been a while. Yeah, we got two shows last week, but uh, we've only met once. Right. Because I couldn't figure out the editing. Hey, guys. It's the Wooden Spoon. We got uh, Tally, intern Tally to my uh, right. What's up? And to my left, Brother Mike. What up? Again, if you're watching us, please subscribe and comment. Subscribe and comment. Leave us a nice comment. And also, look up the Wooden Spoon Pod at gmail.com. I believe intern intern Tally said we had another one more uh, email this week. Yeah, that's right. So we want more than one, but uh, one is good. We've been getting one every One's uh, better than none every week. This is our third uh, email uh, and uh, <laughs> what a third What's email? A third email. Third email. You know, out of five shows, it's a six milestone. Shows, eight shows. Thanks. So, so uh, I'm excited. Everything's uh, everything's looking better. Uh, we're on phase one of incasteration. In consteration. In consteration. Computation. Just say homebound. Homebound. Uh, quarantine. One. Isolation. COVID. Uh, COVID-19. We are at the COVID-18. We're actually getting It should be like COVID-320 less. now. I know. Because it's so um, long, I feel like I've been home. So it looks like a lot more things are, uh, more uh, options are being uh, opened, I guess. Uh, and then we have about uh, two weeks to figure out uh, phase two. And then uh, we if get the, the number, hell out of here. If the numbers don't go up. Phase two will kick in. Right. So, so. we're good. Uh, so, what have you guys been up to? What's up? Nothing. Brother Mike? Working, working. Today was your first full day at work? Today was my first full day. Same job, but I got promoted. Ah. Uh-huh. And now I'm full time. That's why we're doing this once a week. Yep. Because yep. you're tired. What I'm time did you get up? Four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. Holy shit. Four o'clock in the morning. So, uh, what has been uh, going on, man? Anything exciting? Uh, I finished school. <gasps> School is finished. So, uh, intern Tali had finished his first year, freshman year at uh, college. Uh, half of the year was uh, at the dorm, mm-hmm. and the other half was at home, obviously. It was home dorm. It was home dorm. <laughs> um, and you don't have to ask him, but I, I'm sure he liked the dorm living better. Um, yeah, you think? And he got a job this week. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Makes a parent happy. Yeah, see? Yeah, so, sure uh, does. so that's the first year we'll get your numbers and uh, see if you passed anything. <laughs> hey, he seems I, happy, so it looks like he did good. He's, uh, he's we, we know what's going on. So, just uh, pass. Just good. You don't need to be a freaking Einstein. Just or get a really good job. Or, no, just pass. <laughs> get a degree. Or get a really good job. Or get, and get a, just pass. You just, don't need to be an Einstein. You know, figure it out. Unless you're Einstein. Figure you're it Einstein. out. Yeah. You know. School wasn't for me. I didn't. I, I mean, I went to. I went to two year school. I went. You didn't go to school. And look at you. <laughs> you gotta go That's that. fine. <laughs> I didn't go to school either. Yeah. I got kicked out of I high school. Yeah. I got kicked so out of high I. school. You went. To, you I got kicked go. out of high school. Um, and then I uh, got suckered into uh, going to business school, which I, I'm glad I did, but uh, I really didn't need it. I I I always sucked at school because I always had this thing. I knew how to fix things, so I knew I was gonna fall back on that. And like, fuck this, fuck exactly. reading stuff. Re- yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know how to fix things. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but that's you, that was my attitude. I really was. I'm like, ah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be. I knew I was gonna be a maintenance guy or a right. contractor. I knew. I just knew it from from day one. I knew. I, yeah, I know that because yeah. I remember when you were just my God, three, four years old, and we would have people come over to the house to fix because. Dad doesn't know how to. You know, it'd be up their ass. Yeah, and uh, we would we would call like the the furnace guy or yeah. call the you know Nymo would come in. That's the electricity. Yeah. Back um, then, Nymo. Yeah. Um, and then uh, cable, anything anything that we had to get repaired, brother Mike would be up their ass, <laughs> and not only watching, asking, "What are you doing? Why are you doing that? What's that? What's that? Where's that?" And we're like, "Mike, get out of the way!" Nope. But we would say, "Mike, get out of the way." Then eventually we're like we just didn't even didn't even tell you to get out. We just we knew it's we actually would tell the person, yeah, uh, my brother or my son, or whatever is gonna be up your ass. So there's nothing really that you can do about it. Yeah, it's but they really, loved me though because yeah, I didn't they, I didn't get in their way. Nope. 
But I, I had specific questions at that. Why Absolutely. why is that wire go there? Why is that? Why are you doing that? Absolutely. What tool is that? Do you yeah. need that tool to fix this? Yes, you do. Yeah. And, and that's what happens. Yeah. It's crazy how yeah. when you're young, um, I, let me see, you know exactly you what know, you want to do. Yeah. And in life, things might take you away from there. Yeah. Because it's like, well, I was a kid. That can't be real. I mean, I, but it's, it's weird... If you followed your first instinct of yeah. what you wanted, um, you would think that more people would be, you know, doing what they want. And it's weird because you forget about it. I mean, obviously, dreaming is one thing. I always wanted to be a rock star. Right. <laughs> you know that. I mean, yeah. from the day. I used to, we didn't have a lot of money to buy instruments. And I think. But you had your share. You got it. Some well, way, no. somehow, eventually, you would get it. Right. Get, and the know. funny thing is, I used to build my own. You remember? Yeah, I, remember. I, used to, I used to take wood and, yeah. and I used to carve. I mean, I don't know how to build anything. Um, I'm pretty good with the outside stuff. Um, no, you're a good landscaper. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty good with that stuff. Good but, um, but painting, build, painting, painting, painting. Very, yeah. Uh, but I used to, like, cut. Guitar shapes yep, and, put, I and all that stuff, and I mean they wouldn't work. Obviously, I would it would be fake guitars, but I would paint them but like anything. If you stuck with it, you probably could sell I, them as wall art. I know, I know, really. You know, because I I had them all over the house. Yeah. Um, and then I think that's why now I buy as many guitars as I can. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have guitars all over the place because mm -hmm. I think it goes back to when I was little and I couldn't get them. Yeah, but. Like, like my shoes. Like you said, though, every, heads, every guitar has a different sound. Oh, yeah. Every brand name has oh, yeah. a different sound. Absolutely. So, and as if, when you have an ear for it, you want to hear um, how a guitar plays. You want to hear how, yeah. how, right? Right. Even well, a, acoustic, electric. Well, I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a, uh, you know, professional guitar player, but um, you got people that are musicians that certain songs have to be, be played a on certain, yeah. you know, Les Paul has a totally different sound than right. Fender. Right. And, you know, uh, PV, you know, uh, Eddie Van Halen, uh, Wolfgang has a totally different sound than maybe, um, you know, a Rickenbacker or, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, it's yeah. totally different. Totally different. Uh, Gibson, um, Gibson acoustic sounds totally different than a Martin. Right. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, so you have certain, you have certain people that uh, say, oh, this song yeah. I have to play, you know, Slash um, has his, um, Iconic sound because yep. he plays his Les Paul. Um, Eddie Van Halen plays his the Wolfgang, which um, is a bunch of stuff. That's why they call it his original one with the stripes. Remember those stripes? Mm -hmm. It's called the Frankenstein because yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he got parts from all different right. guitars. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, it, it, so it's it's crazy that uh, when you were younger, you were you knew something in your body, something in your mind that sparked something. Yeah. I, I, obviously, you saw it. You felt it, and it, it made you kind of tingle. Go, oh, I need to, I need to and see what they're yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then right? I used to get in trouble, like, like Mike, why did you take that apart? Because it's broke. I want to fix it. Like, right. you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I mean, that's <laughs> that's how your mind is, though, because yeah. to fix it, you want to take it apart. You have to, so you can put it back together yeah, back and see why it did what it does. Yeah. You know, um, Dad's always amazed every time I work on my car. He always asks me, "Is there any bolts or nuts left over?" I go, what do you mean? <laughs> he goes, yeah. his wood. Nah, Dad would never do it, oh, but he would know. always tell me a story about this mechanic back in Sicily when they were growing up yeah. that always would have a, a bunch of bolts and parts left over after. That's hilarious. I go, and, and I go, yeah, Dad, that's not, he didn't do it right because if he whatever comes out, in, come you, you got to put it back in. Whatever right. comes out, you got to put it back in. That's funny. Yeah, and he always, as he was at his style goes in. No, style goes in. That means, is there anything, anything left, left over? I, uh, no, what do you mean left over? I, like, uh, there shouldn't be. There should, no, there's nothing left over. That's funny. Louis had the same, <laughs> same story. He was in a uh, workshop back in school. Remember, he used to take, like, auto mechanics yeah, and yeah, woodwork yeah. and all yeah, that. Yeah. So he took auto mechanics and they had to rebuild an engine or something. Yep. And small, the, a small engine small class. Engine class yep. Yeah. Yep. And at the end, he had a bag of screws. <laughs> uh, parts and he just kind of like nah eh, we don't need them and they want to turn it on and, and the engine burn of course it smoked up because yeah. oh, yeah. you need those yeah, yeah. if like you said whatever comes out has to go back, go back in. in yep unless yeah. there's new ones that are replacing but they still the have to go but back they have, in. To have the equal amount of stuff yep. that came out yep. so uh, that's going in that's so funny. that's it's funny yeah but um yeah so it's 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 uh it's nice how when you're young you uh you might tap in I think it's because we don't have that much going on in our brain at that point, right? Like right now, we're sponges. when you get old, yeah, when you're you get sponge. older, you're worrying about, uh, you know, um, how do I look? Uh, um, 
do people like me? Yep. I like that girl. I like that boy. Yeah, well, uh, am I popular? Yeah. Uh, am I being bullied? Uh, and then you get older. Do I have a job? Do I have a car? How am I going to pay for my bills? Yep. You have all these things, and you end up going towards things that are going to answer those questions. Yep. How are you going to pay those bills? Well, I'll get that fucking job over there that pays me $10. I hate it. Or it pays me $20. I can't stand it. It's overnight. But when you're young, you don't have all those thoughts. So I think your brain allows you to go, I really love that mm -hmm. and you and you're and you're drawn to it so as you get you're older, drawn to it and you also you get you get that satisfaction when you fix something and it's fixed well yeah it. it's like anything you just yeah. well, it's like when anything else I mean, yeah when you're yeah. when you're finally when you're done finally, with what you're you, like wow i did that wow oh, that's cool. pretty cool i, I, I like that. painting yeah. you know um and i'm not there's some for, really bad painters oh, in this world i don't do it for a living but i think honestly if i had to i could I could actually get paid, and people be like, Absolutely. "You did a great job." Absolutely. Um, but I take I take pride in it. So I think any that's what it is. It's pride because you take pride in what you love. Yep. And then um, that's a, that's and then the end is. results are going to be awesome. Yep. You know. Yep. So that's kind of cool. Um, so that's been going on. So you got your first day yep. of your full time. You've been working there for a little so, bit. So yeah. So the new hours are five thirty to two. <sighs> five thirty to two. God bless um, you, brother. But to be honest with you, um, when everyone comes in by eight thirty, you already got three yeah, hours. You're already, you're already in. Three. You're already looking. I'm at, going downwards yeah. now. I got five hours left. And they're all like, they're in morning. You're like, good yeah, night. Good night. <laughs> right. Exactly. So some of them are like, oh, I'm envious. Some are like, oh, it sucks. You got to get up at four. I, yeah, I'm home at two. I mean, I think anything. Yeah, anything um, that you keep doing just gets easier, right? But to be honest I mean, with you. Unless what, you're an idiot and go to bed at when 3 When you're 22, 23 years old, you do not want to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning to go to work. Because you're, you're getting in it. When you're an old man now... You can do it. You can do it. You're like, what else do I got to do? Get up at 4. Go okay. to bed at 10, 30, 10, I went to bed at 9. I went to bed at 9 last 9. Night. Yeah. Because you know you want to sleep. Right. right. Um, but yeah. And my job's not that hard. Right. It's, it's, well, it's uh, not hard for you. It's not hard for me. <laughs> if I did it, right. I'd be like... It's, uh, it's um, I, I, uh, The best part is my... The, my boss and the president of the company, it's nice when they come to me for advice. Yeah. That's that's, nice. and that's pretty cool. It really is. Like I've had many jobs where they always would like to ask my advice, and they're like, dude, you're like, you run this place. I remember my last job before um, Make, doing getting it big. Yeah, but not, it big. not big, but before doing what I'm doing now, um, sitting on the couch, um, no, uh, was at a company that obviously I had nothing to do. I was part-time. Yeah, but it they were begging you to run a store. That you kept. Oh no, 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 no! They absolutely, wanted, they I would have. You to run a absolutely, store so bad, absolutely, I would have been a manager. No. Well, you, because I knew at the to, end of the day. Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, I didn't need it, and I hate saying that because you know, you know, we were, you know, my wife works, and we. Or were, you didn't want. You know, no, we. The responsibilities. I would, my wife wanted me more home. Right. Because the kids of, were so young. younger, All right. So take care of uh, the kids coming home. Not more him, but Nikki, more Nikki, my yeah. youngest one. Um, so it made more sense for me being here than me doing forty hours at work, where you know the, the payoff wasn't is gonna it was better if I was home. Right. Um, Speaking of Nikki, did you did I tell you about this phone story this morning? No. Uh, yes. Okay. So this morning, I um, think I don't know. I, I obviously uh, like I was telling you, I went full time, so I had to sign my full time papers this morning. And the head of uh, HR is my sister-in-law, which is Carla's wife. So I go in there, and she's like, Mike, come in here and sign this paper so I can get you your vacation days and right. all that goes into the computer and stuff. All the normal paperwork. All the normal paperwork. So I accidentally, her phone was right next to the the contract. Right. And I grabbed her phone. Oh. And I stuck it right in my pocket after I signed. Your phones look the same? No. I <laughs> think it was just... Yep. I, don't I, even have an iPhone. Don't, don't, yeah, don't even have an iPhone. Okay. So now I'm getting into the truck, and uh -huh. I'm like, why is my wallet so thick? Like, right. I can feel it, you know, as I'm driving. I'm like, well, I don't understand. So I go in, and I, and I'm, I pull a phone out of my pocket. It wasn't your wallet. And my phone's on, on the, on the um, armrest. I'm like, whose phone is that? Like, Wait I, a minute, so you had your phone? I had, yeah. Phone? yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you left yours on the no. table. No, no, I had two phones. Had two phones. I'm like, what the <laughs> hell? Two, so I turn it on, and there's a Picture of my nephew Nikki. So right off the bat, I knew whose phone it was. Took HR's phone. Took HR's phone. And it's not a good day to take HR's phone. It's payroll day today. Well, 
Oh, she, need, she needs a phone, does she? Yeah, yeah, because our phones are connected to our computers. Right. Oh, our emails. And, and emails and all that stuff. So you got yeah. back in the truck and... I had to go back. Nice. Okay. Yeah. First day. Got written up. That's good. Got written up by <laughs> Stealing my sister. Stealing property. <laughs> yep. I stole my HR phone. Oh, uh, so yeah, the, things like that happen <laughs> when you wake up at 4 o'clock. <laughs> You're right. Speaking about jobs, we were talking about an intern. He's going to get a summer job. Ooh, intern. Out of college, going to the grocery store, one of the biggest... And best grocery stores you can work, which is called Wegmans. What as Italians would say, Wegmans. Wegmans. Yeah, Wegmans. Wegmans. Yeah. Um, so if you don't know about Wegmans, look it up. It's on the uh, what's it, the Forbes 500. Is that what's uh, called? Reviews, one of the one yeah. of the best uh, companies to work for on the East Coast. Especially, yep, East Coast. especially if you're a student and uh, the, well, the scholarships. It's not grants. easy to get a job at Wegmans. Well, it's it not. might be now. <laughs> Might be now they because they right, 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 right. you know right. they need people. Uh, they right. want people to work when other people can't. Right. So, um, but yeah, generally it, it it would be tough. You have to know somebody, and um, but yeah, so he got that, and uh, he's going through his paperwork. And God, being nineteen, my first job, my first, like I had to be somewhere to work. I was like ten. Oh yeah, paperboy. Paperboy. Yeah. So uh, my brother, my brother was um, not when me. I was nine. Not me. I, I think I was nine, and my brother, my older brother, was twelve. But we lied back then in the seventies. You can lie; no one checks Could anything. Care. Yeah. Um, he says uh, you have to be thirteen, and I think he was a couple months sh months shy of thirteen. We lied uh, and said he was thirteen. He was twelve. I was gonna be ten or something like that. Um, so we were like nine and twelve on the paper out working. Could you imagine, man? Could you imagine? No Nowadays, thanks. Younger than my youngest right now. Uh, there is no such thing as a paper boy anymore. No, no, no. They got rid of that long yeah, time ago. Yeah, it's called the miracle of the internet. Yeah. <laughs> but they still have the paper, right, or no? Did they they get rid do, of it? they do, but... Um, you have to buy it now? You, uh, it's mainly, the Sunday delivery, I know that. Mostly Sunday delivery. Yeah. But they have all the coupons But some, now people are like, just to get out of the house, yeah. they'll just go to the gas station and get it. Honey, yeah. I'll be right back. That's I, true, I mean... You, you got, you know... A lot of those guys that still smoke, but their wives think they don't smoke. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Or drink. Or drink. Yeah, know that too. Let yeah. me go walk down to the straw. Yeah. We're going to go get a yeah. paper. And paper and be back three hours later. Got a little flask yeah. on them. <laughs> was it really true, though, back in the day? Like, back in the day. Honey, I'll be, I'm going to get... And they wouldn't come back for three days? Like, men did that shit back in the day? Like, uh, I'm sure people would... Problems. I mean, uh, imagine that. Imagine I'm telling sure you what's now. Honey, I'm close to I'll now. get some diapers. I'll be right back. And you come back three days. Generally, later. they don't even come back when they do that. It's like my dad went to get milk and never came back. Yeah. That story. <laughs> um, generally, they wouldn't come back after three days. Your wife, you your wife, or you're in Vegas. Well, your wife knows you by then. Like, yeah, well, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He'll be. I won't see him for three days. Yeah, he's on the peace. Uh, because now. obviously, if they come back, this is not the first time you're doing that. Yeah, he's on the peace corps. He's yeah. traveling the world. He, but uh, no, I mean back then, back then. Back then, you was, know what movie that's from? Peace Corps, the Water Boy. Water Boy. Water Boy. Adam Sandler. Back then, rules and regulations were so different. I mean, back in back in the day, when uh, your neighbor wanted to get smokes, and they didn't want to get their fat ass up and smokes. get it themselves, they just write you a note. Send your kid. They write you. you I, I, I wasn't used, even their son. Car. I used to go buy him for Anna Marie all the time. Right. At least they're related. I used to have neighbors. Um, I know that couldn't down. walk down yeah, and fat, <laughs> and they would say, "Hey," and it would say, "Please, uh, 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 this is my son." They would lie. Nobody checked anything. It was like a dollar ninety-five. Please allow my son to uh, pack of cigarettes, Mrs. X Y Z, yeah. whatever. Car. And they all knew like it. Two bucks for a pack of cigarettes. Not cheaper. even a dollar fifty. Oh my god! I'm in the seventies, forty-five cents a dollar. It was more than a dollar. No more. Because when I started smoking, they were like two it was a dollar. No, it was a dollar thirty-five. A dollar thirty-five a pack, but you have to understand that was forty. That was thirty years ago. Now they're like ten dollars a right. pack. Right. So when when we were kids I think going down, they're like ten ninety-five. Holy. When we were going down, when we go down to Big M, which is the local store, um, they would they would scrounge up change. I mean that's yeah, you know it's easy. And you I think go down with rolls of corn. And, and I think the most the most of what yeah I remember it was a dollar. That and gas, gas sixty five cents a gallon. Well, you have to understand, a dollar thirty five was cigarettes. Maybe then it got up to like the one ninety five, but minimum wage was uh, three twenty five. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> three dollars and twenty five cents. Now it's I'm getting twelve twenty five. Twelve twenty five. Now I remember I remember when we were young, we would have like somebody uh, working with us, and they're like, "Dude, my brother or my sister just making fifteen. No, ten dollars an hour. I remember, and I used to. Oh, 
ten dollars an hour. I mean, we were making three thirty-five, three forty-five, three seventy-five, right. four ten. So they were like at three dollars, and somebody said somebody was making ten. Oh yeah, ten. You're a big shot. Ten. <laughs> And like they were like not that much older than us. Like my bro, my older brother's nineteen, yeah. just got a job, ten bucks an hour at the factory, whatever. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, it's crazy. It's crazy to. Come on. Oh baby, baby, I love you.